Let's start out with this bolt by grabbing a cylinder 3D from the gizmo, then click on Unify and rotate it 90 degrees. Scale it down in the Y axis and delete the caps. Now we can turn on double and bevel the edge. Let's delete the bevel, then unmask the open edge and blur the mask. Let's move that vertical edge about halfway up. Then we can unmask the other edge, blur it, and move that down. Let's Q mesh the polys inwards, then turn off double and flip the faces. Press Ctrl W to make it a single poly group and turn on array mesh. Click on lock position, lock size, and transpose, then set the repeats to 20. Grab the transpose line and drag up the repeats by clicking the center of the middle circle. Get the repeats as close as you can and then click Make Mesh. Make sure you click Auto Groups before pressing Weld Points, then click Auto Groups again to make sure all the points are welded. Select Q Mesh Flat Island. Then we want to Q Mesh the poly back and delete the edge loop. Let's go ahead and slide the edge loop over a little bit and then click Group by Normals. Isolate the front poly group and delete hidden. Let's straighten the bottom edge, then turn on double and clip the top and bottom. Select Insert, Multiple Edge Loop with Interactive Elevation. So with the first go round, I didn't extend it out enough, so I'll undo it and try it again. Let's click Group by Normals and then slide the points back on the top and the bottom. Let's switch to the bottom view and move the points in for a gradual increase. Repeat the same for the top view and then we want to close the caps and extrude it up. Let's clip the top flat, then collapse the edges and repeat the same process on the other end.
Let's go ahead and crease the edge loop and click Crease PG. Turn on Dynamic and set the crease level to 2. Next, we want to make some adjustments for the thread ends. Let's extrude the bottom down and scale it in. Move the top up a little bit and insert an edge loop to control the fall off. There are some changes we can make to improve the end of the thread. What is bothering me is the end of the thread is dipping down instead of going straight. So let's take a snapshot by pressing Shift S and fix the issue. So we are going to bridge the points and redirect the line. Crease the edge and turn on dynamic to see the difference. 